Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I might the explosive one. Let's crack into another one. TNT. So I, I saw an article. You know, they uh, we talk about how the education system in America is declining rapidly, and that you know there's not enough funding, there's not enough stuff, and kids aren't learning the right stuff. Uh, school shootings? Is that any, anything with it? No, nothing. Okay. No, sure. I mean that's. I mean, that's know. a sad thing that happens nowadays. Yeah. I mean, you got to take that into consideration when you're <laughs> picking a, a job, a career yeah, I mean, path. Wrong, especially when you don't make a lot of money. Yeah. I did see that Bernie Sanders called for all teachers to make at least $60,000. And I'm like, I think that's a pretty fair, like for what they have to put up with every day. This is not related to the story. I'll bring that back in a second. But like, I think that if teachers made $60,000, like that's still probably not enough for what they have to deal with. No, definitely. Especially not. now with the dangers of like potential school shootings. But even like when we were in <laughs> high school, when that wasn't really a thing, dude, they make they make very little money compared to like they got to deal with bratty ass kids all day long, deal with the kids' problems. Mm. Deal, they're teaching people who don't want to be there. Teaching your kids. Yeah, like they're basically your babysitters for your kids. Yeah, and they're and they're responsible for educating them on top of it. Yeah. And, and they're being paid like behaviors. 40k. Yeah. They're not really. even making a thousand dollars a week. Not even two hundred bucks a day to do that's, that. That's insane. So, anyways. That's insane. Neither here nor there. Teachers, you need a raise. Uh there is twenty-three schools in Baltimore that have zero students proficient in math. Say it one more Let, time. Yeah, I was gonna say, let that that's, sink that's in. A number. Say it one more time. 23 different schools 23 different schools. have not one child not one that child. is proficient in math huh. out of the entire goddamn school huh that is a frightening ass fact yeah yeah but, and it's based off like their their state test results wow like how like what how, age range are we talking uh, about here let me see if it says cuz uh, that's that's, let's see that's here. important too like uh, at lower levels, I could be like, "All right, that's fine." I mean, and at higher levels, it's kind of like a different problem, you know? Right. Uh, let's see. Seven percent of third through eighth graders tested proficient. Third in math. through eighth graders. So se seven seven percent of six grades. Wow. Which means ninety three percent could not do math at, at their grades level. It says, uh, yeah, it says uh, 150, 23 schools, zero students profess. God, dude. Oh, out of, among the 23 schools, 10 are high schools, eight are elementary, three are middle. So it's like the gambit, okay. the whole gambit. Yeah, 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 yeah. They, wow. Like you, That's in like, insane. In, in the, in the, I think what's even sadder about that fact is proficient in math, the bar, the bar on that is very low. Yeah. It's like basic, basic, like, basic math like <laughs> this is you know it's so crazy to me joe's because I'm, I'm not gonna hold you up i was pretty in, in a, ineffective with mash if that even right well, you can no. do basic math yeah, i mean yeah, i could do basic math i mean i pass math class right. too but like, i was I very I bad at math in high school and, was, and i guess that's my point for someone who who will willingly admit i'm not good at math yeah but you never had problems passing the state math exam like you can yeah. get Maybe you didn't score in the 98th percentile, but you wow. got the you, you you scored on proficient in math, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. These yeah. kids aren't even doing that. Yeah. No one in the whole school. How do, you could just the law of averages <laughs> says that one kid could guess right enough to be proficient in math. Bro, I look, and I don't even know the answer to that because obviously it's like. Like, I'm just thinking, like, the school district has an internal problem. How do you bring these kids up to speed at this point? And then I, then my my next question goes to, is it a is it a school problem or is it that the kids don't care? Or is it the, that or is it the teachers? That's what I mean. Like, are they not teaching proficiently enough or oh, are they doing their job and the kids saying. are like, I don't give a shit. Yeah. F and math. But, like, a kid not caring is, like, shaming a dog for peeing on the carpet. Yeah, it pisses you off, but it's... Kids aren't going to care about education, especially a, when they're yeah, that young. It's a dog. It's a kid. Like, that's what they do. They don't care. Your job is to make them care. Or I should say the job of the mother or the father or the family right. unit is to make them care. Um, right. The job of the school is to provide the service in a way that's digestible by the child. Right, exactly. And cater... 
in some cases to the needs of each child in order to get them to have yeah. a proper education. So I, it falls in a lot of different laps when we're talking about blame. But oh, at, no yeah, point, yeah. at no point in time I'm going to sit up here and say that it's the child. Because at that age, you don't have enough information to even really make, like, not only decisions, but you don't have a personality. At what level, though? But I think, I think high school kids have accountability to, like... To a certain degree, but even still, you're just the culmination of your child years at that point. Like, yeah, how can, how can, like, I mean, at the age we are, I realize is that I feel like while my formative years, the one that laid a foundation for me were those, were those years, the wisdom and the true, like, understanding how shit works came from, like, you know, when I was, like, 25 and, like, you know, oh, up yeah. from that. Yeah, because like, I was because I see an eighteen year old. And you, what do you think? A stupid kid. <laughs> yeah, you're like man, they're stupid. Even, <laughs> yeah. even if they're mature and like kind of have their stuff yeah. together, you're still like man, they're stupid. As yeah, shit. but technically they're an adult, but they're still just a culmination of uh, playing Xbox and playing with action figures and going, you know, and just doing stupid kid stuff at that point. Right. Right. Well, yeah, and your and your whole view of the world is messed up because yeah. like because like you think about kids in high school when something bad happens in high school they like their whole life is over yeah. but when you realize like when you get older even even maybe up to 25 because you're still in college maybe or whatever after that you realize that like none of that matters at all Ex yeah exactly and you don't have that experience to know that like life is not high school that's and this is exactly why when i see like certain videos on on uh whatever platform you're watching on twitter reddit whatever and i see like you know like a, a school fight and like i see a bunch of kids like jumping a kid and i'm like oh okay well i mean that's what kids do i mean we're talking about like 13 14 15 16 year olds they're all an animal brain still they, they, exactly. they, don't, yeah, they don't so I, I try not to hold it against them too much when i see them doing some ill stuff or like oh a kid kicks a homeless but i'm like yeah that's effed up too it is a kid obviously the real onus has fallen on the parents in that oh so. a thousand percent yeah and i think and i think you make a great point because in this in this scenario if there's anyone to blame it's the parents of all those kids yes Yes, <clears throat> because I know damn well when I was married and had stepkids, when they brought home shit ass grades, it was like, yo, why do you have this shit ass grade? <laughs> How are we getting it up? You, right. you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah, and like, then you got to you got to put in the groundwork at home. Right. And if their parents yeah. don't care, I would be very curious to see um, the uh, the income levels of these schools. Yeah. If, if they are. Oh, well to do or they're in poverty yeah, or whatever yeah, yeah, yeah. my guess is they're probably in poverty and the parents and the parents probably don't care yeah 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 yeah, yeah. you know they're maybe yeah maybe they they're what working was, all the time what state was that in again uh baltimore maryland okay yeah oh and it's a south all right never no, it, mind never mind it's maryland is right next to washington dc that's basically okay well then there you go that's, that's way the south. north <laughs> that's the south anyways so well, yeah dude i feel like i feel like a lot of it is on the parent but at the same time if the education at the school is shit and the teachers aren't like and like it's real yeah when you said that about the teachers a few minutes ago i was really it made me think because i always loved math yeah, um and i was very I, good at math i, and I, I was not. i was i was pretty good at english i wasn't as high ranking in like test scores as english as math but i wasn't bad in english either um, but I, I was wondering like, wow, I wonder if like there was a teacher that just presented math in such a fun way when I was like in elementary school yes. that I like grasped it. And I was like, God, I love math. It's fun. A hundred like, percent. That's the case. Cause w even when I was going to school, just my own personal experience, algebra was so confusing to me. I didn't understand it. I remember sitting there with my, with my, with my parents and sitting there with my school teacher talking about getting me a tutor. Cause I just could not get algebra. Okay. And then like. After two years of algebra, I moved into uh, geometry. Right. Easiest shit I've ever done in my life. When I went to college and I did uh, statistics, it was presented to me with a professor who I could joke with. He gave me extra points for bringing donuts in the school. 
Yeah, statistics was hard as ish, man. He was it's hard. Yeah, I swear to God, all of my co college professors were cool as hell. But yeah, statistics presented to me in a way that it was so easily digestible. Ace that course, man. Ended, yeah. up, ended up on the dean's list. Oh, Not look to at toot that. My own horn. Oh, da, da, da. so, <laughs> but yeah, dude, it's and it's it's just interesting because, um, yeah, I think the teachers, I think the way people present has has makes a lot of difference. So, anyways, yeah. get out here and educate these kids, yo. <laughs> Don't ever say that ever again. <laughs> Come on, dog. No. Anyways, go to thecrazytown.com uh, for Jonas. TNT. Oh, yep. 